Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy. And what we're gonna be looking at in this video is some of the new things that are gonna be coming with patch 1.13 or update 1.13. I'm here on my local um, uh, experimental server on my PC. So this is a server that's actually running on my PC, but it's running the experimental branch of Daisy, and it means we can look at some things um, without getting shot by other players on a public server. So where do we start? So first off, let's, I tell you, let's have a look at what I've got in my hands right now. So you can now get a rather nice ATOG, uh, or ACOG, I guess it would be, six scope, six times scope, that's got a lovely red dot on it. So basically what you can do, so normally it kind of looks like that, and then you can flick it up and you have this really, really nice six times scope on, which I think uh, is, is that's pretty, pretty cool, that, isn't it? I like that a lot. Um, let's see if we can uh, show you it a little bit better. There we go. Now fits on the M4, um, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also get um, this rather nice 60 round mag as well for the M4 and the, the new M16 as well, which is uh, very, very nice. We also get um, for the uh, AK-47 or the KA-74, a 45 round mag as well now. So that's that's really, really nice as well. Um, there's a couple of machetes as well. We've got this Oriental machete. That one that you can see there. And then we've got this um, improvised machete, I think crude machete they call it. Which is uh, looks quite a vicious piece of equipment, doesn't it? But what you probably want to see, you want to see the uh, the M16, don't you? So let's go. In, let's go into my little tent here, and let's go in here and let's grab here. Here she is, the M16A2 burst right burst automatic rifle. You can have it on single fire. We can have it on burst. Um, iron sights only. In fact, if we have a look down here, see what you can put on it. So there's the M16, and we can put on a ghillie wrap. A suppressor, a bayonet, and a uh, you know the M4 mag, you know the standard mag. So I'll put the 60 round on it, a 60 round mag. So yeah, a really nice. I mean, burst weapons are very very cool because it enables you to get um, sort of three bullets into someone or a zombie very 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 quickly. So you can kill people very very quickly. Um, it's a shame that we can't put some a scope on it as well, but maybe that's that's the balance maybe for the uh, for the M16. Um, but it's great to have a have a new weapon. looks looks very very nice, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, can't wait to have can't wait to have a go with it. Um, now, before we move on and have a quick look at the zombies and then have a play with the M16, killing some zombies, I want to show you something else. Now, I don't know if this is new or not, and I just didn't know it about it before. But when I was looking through the files. I came across syringes and sodium bicarbonate vial. And it says, tiny injection vial containing sodium bicarbonate solution. Treatment for intoxication given intravenously. And then if you get a syringe and then combine it, you then get the option to fill the syringe. And then we've got a syringe. Now it does say error. So maybe this is something they've put in that's gonna come in. Um and I don't get I don't get an option to do anything with the syringe. I can't it's not letting me inject myself or anything, or I don't know whether I can inject other players, but something definitely worth looking at. Right, so now let's go and have a look at say some of these new zombies. So let's go to free cam. Now let's have a look. Now you've got to remember because I'm in the um, I'm in my local server and I've just been, I've just spawned these in using Zombery. Um, they haven't got anything on them, but this is probably the chap you'd be most interested in. This is the officer zombie that we get now. Um, as you can see, he's got a different uniform, a new uniform. We haven't seen this before. And apparently what this guy can do is you know how zombies scream and they attract other zombies. Well, he can do it more often. I think he can do it about a third more often than than other zombies. So he will attract 
more zombies to him. Not in the same way a screamer does in Left 4 Dead or um, something like um, State of Decay, but you know more of a threat. Now the other ones are cold, heavy zombies, but th oh, that's another officer. Here we go. Now there's a police heavy zombie and a uh, soldier heavy zombie, but from what from what I've seen, they look pretty much similar to all the other zombies. You won't be able to sort of tell them apart. There we go. That's that's a heavy soldier zombie. Um, and these do more damage. There's also a runner zombie, but in the files that th it isn't de delineated saying zombie type runner or anything like that. Um, if we look at the patch notes though, um, here we go. Rebalanced infected hit points depending on tier and category. So low tier civilian lowered by 50, runner lowered by 50%. Soldier increased by 15%. So what we're seeing here is some zombies are easier to kill and The soldiers are harder to kill and the runner is lower by 50% now don't we're gonna have to see in game What that means whether the runner because all the zombies run at you don't they and then we have different infected now have different attack damage and bleeding chance So a low tier and a runner deal lower damage with low building uh, bleeding chance regular civilians deal medium damage with a medium bleeding chance and the firefighter, police, and soldier do the highest damage with a high bleed chance. So this is kind of giving you... Um, one of the things we, we, we've wanted for a long time, actually, is when you go somewhere like Tizzy or Northwest Airfield, where you're after the high-tier loot, you're also going to come across soldier zombies, which are going to be harder to kill and do more damage to you. So I, I think that's um, good. And in general, I think this patch is, is very, very cool. So what we'll do now is let's go back to... Here, let's go back to where's my fella? Right, let's toggle free camp so that he's looking in the right direction. So what we'll do now? Have I got the M16? Have I? Let's go and blast some zombies with the M16, so you can kind of get an idea of what. In fact, I tell you what, should we use the six times scope to start off with? Let's use this baby at distance. Here we go, let's have a go. I, I do like this six times. Ooh, what a shot. Ooh, running out of breath. Alright, let's swap to the M16. Which is on semi-auto, so we don't want that. Let's put it on burst. Right, let's go in. Let's go and wreck some zombies. If I can run with the controls. <laughs> oh, yeah, he didn't last long, did he? Let's wait for him to get a bit closer. I'm over here. Here they come. Ooh. You see why you need the uh Need the bigger mags because you're going to be chewing through ammunition if you use it on burst. I mean, not as much as fully auto. I mean, that has, does have to be said. Right, so there we go. There's the new M16. Um, there's the new uh, six time scope with the nice red dot on on the top. We've had a kind of a look at the, the zombies, but I guess we're going to have to see how they really behave in game, especially these new runner zombies. Maybe that mystery syringe thing as well. And look at those um, two two new melee items the, uh, the machetes right if you've got any other questions put them in the comment section below the video if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more the same press subscribe i will of course see you again soon